my friends. If you're joining us for the first time, welcome. I'm T of Krampus T and Sony here on YouTube as well as on Instagram. Before we get into the video, if you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. And if you enjoy the contents that you see on this channel, please remember to subscribe to my channel. So today we are talking about some early spring patterns that I want to sew this year in 2023. I'm going to first uh, talk about this first pattern here that you see, the Simplicity S9702. But I also want to talk about practical sewing as I am going through this list and sharing with you some of the things that I want to make this year. I want to talk a little bit about some of the patterns that I have been selecting and why I have been selecting those patterns. Specifically, I want to talk about some of the statement pieces that I have been making over the course of the last few years and why I don't really sew a lot of statement pieces. But I also want to share my thoughts and my opinions about uh, some of the patterns that I have been selecting that can be more multi-purpose, like you can make statement pieces out of the patterns or you can just make practical garments out of these so again let's start with the simplicity s9702 i definitely feel like this is a pattern that is not only for spring but can also be one of those patterns that you can either make a statement piece out of or you can make a practical garment and i thought about making this this one right here now, in order to make this a statement, you can definitely do some color blocking, use really bold, vibrant prints, or you can use really bold, vibrant colors. And so that's what I have been thinking about. Um, if I want to do a statement garment, I will select a bold print or a bold colored fabric or vibrant fabric and make it multi-purpose for me. So I definitely am moving towards um, doing those types of sewing garments throughout the year of 2023. Like I made the um, Mayo Sotis dress by Deer and Doe a few years ago. I made two different variations of it. My black and gold variation is just, it's very, it's a stiff cotton. And so it's just really not practical. Although the garment itself, like the pattern itself is constructed to be a, a, um, a pattern where it can be practical. I think my fabric choice for that uh, is just not practical for me to wear in most spaces just because, like I said, it's very stiff and it's uncomfortable. So again, with this one, I really think that it can be used for both. And that's why I selected this. And I'm not saying that statement pieces do not have their place in the sewing community. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying for my own purposes, I would rather sew garments that I know I'm going to be able to wear um, most of the time. And I can see that I would be able to do that with this pattern here because of the fabric selections as well as the style. It's calling for poplin, gauze, cotton blends, and linen. I would actually use a rayon fabric or some type of uh, chalet viscose or some kind of blend, cotton blend or something like that to make it a little bit more drapey. So that way it's not so stiff. And like I said, I think that's one of the reasons why with my Mayo Sodas dress, I, I just, even though I'm happy with it and I went into the project knowing it was going to be a statement piece for the black and gold version. Uh, however, I just, I don't, like uh, sewing garments that I'm not going to get a lot of wear out of. So I'm definitely going to be mindful of the fabric that I am choosing uh, for a lot of my garments these days. Now for this one, I think I'm going to use that Minerva fabric and I'll put that here so you can see what it looks like. Um, but I think I'm going to use that fabric. It's a viscose chalet fabric and it's a sponsored piece. And I think it will be great with this one, especially for spring. Next, I want to uh, sew the ME2014 this spring. I have already started my mock-up. I haven't quite finished with the mock-up yet. So far, I am very pleased with the shorts. Those are the, um, this is the pattern that I am using for the mock-up, the short pattern. I haven't started on these here but the short pattern is what i am working on and i really want to have a pair of knee length shorts this summer and i am going to be using a really nice vibrant um 
sateen purple fabric from Mood Fabrics. I think for me, in terms of like statement pieces, uh, that is pretty much the closest that I am willing to go um, to make it a statement piece. Like I said, vibrant colors or bold prints, but I also want it to be something that I know that I can wear and that I can get a lot of practical use out of. So again, yeah, that uh, vibrant purple fabric, I think would be really great for this. Next, I wanna make this Mimi G pattern. This is, this is the Simplicity S9701. And it's a bodycon dress. And for right now, for um, my body, <laughs> I just don't feel confident to really wear bodycon dresses. However, I do want to make a top out of this. And I want to exaggerate the sleeves a little bit. And like I said, um, if I'm going to make a statement, it's going to be a practical statement for me. And I think for me, I want to exaggerate the sleeves a little bit, maybe make a gather at the sleeve head or a bishop sleeve. And uh, I would definitely raise the neckline just a little bit and I will make this into a top. So I really want to make that this spring. Again, here is another pattern that I think could make a statement depending on what kind of fabric that you decide to choose for your project. This is the Vogue V1890. It came out last year and I want to make maybe view A. I don't know if I have enough fabric for view B. I haven't decided what kind of fabric I'm using, but looking at the envelope, it does require quite a bit of fabric. So for view uh, A, skirt A, on a 60 inch wide fabric. We're looking at about two and three eighths yards of fabric, maybe two and a half yards of fabric, depending on what your size is. And then for view B, you're looking at three and three and a half, three and a half, three and, a half, three and five eighths, somewhere around that, that um, ballpark there. So quite a bit of fabric. I do have fabrics in my stash that I could contribute to this project that have that amount of yardage, but I have to think about, like carefully think about what kind of fabric I wanna use for these, especially if I want a statement, but also a practical garment. But again, I think this would definitely make a statement. Next, I wanna sew the Simplicity S9683, an easy to sew pattern with multiple variations of a skirt. I definitely want to sew view A. And again, if you wanna make it a statement, fabric choice is going to be key. I definitely want to make this one here that has this slit and this nice little um, belted band up here. I love this. And the pattern calls for denim, lightweight wools, linens, cottons, faux, leather or suede or crepe type materials and i'm thinking about making a denim skirt this spring this is a pattern that i've had the privilege to work on and i have made multiple versions i think i'm going to make another top before i do my full review of this and it is the simplicity s9606 the variations that I have been playing with is this variation here. It does have quite a bit of a deep um, V-neck. And so I altered the V-neck a little bit. But again, I definitely think you can make a statement out of this, depending on the type of fabric that you choose. But I also think that it is very uh, practical as well, because it you can choose a fabric that is not, that won't take up too much space or have too much of an exaggerate exaggerated sleeve, etc. I think that this would definitely be a pattern that you can make a statement with, but also have practical use out of it. I tried to do view B. It has like this high round neckline and it's very high. So it really does need to be altered. I haven't um, completed a variation of that yet. I'm thinking about going back in and completing a variation of this. The fabric suggestions for this one are Shally, Charmeuse, Cotton Lawns, Cotton Blends, Crepe de Chine, Gingham, Soft Linen, 
blends and silky tight fabrics as well as boils. And I have made mine in silky tight fabrics such as charmeuse and things of that nature. So again, stay tuned for this and I'll be giving my review of that. Next, I wanna play with the Vogue V1893 this spring. I love all of these patterns, to be honest with you, but I really want to play with the shorts and the skirt. This is a pleated skirt with a waistband. This is just such a, a cool pattern, I think, because you can use different types of fabrics and you can also use this as a practical uh to get a practical garment out of or a statement garment. I think this is very much kind of like a statement type uh, garment here, like a set. And here you can see she just has some basic white trousers, but she has these beautiful statement buttons and pockets on the side, which I think add uh, great detail to the shorts. And so you can definitely, again, uh, dress this up or dress it down, make it a practical sew or a statement. And that's what I am going for for 2023. I definitely want to do the top and, or the um, skirt and the shorts, but I also think um, I'm going to try to bralette as well. And then lastly, the McCall's M8255. So I really struggled with this one because this top here, top B, definitely looks like a statement um, garment to me, but it can also be very practical, I feel. Um, it just depends on how you uh, treat your sleeves, I think, if you sew them as they are or if you kind of shorten the height of the cap sleeve or take out some of the fullness, I think you can definitely make this into a practical wear, wear as well. I like the idea of leaving it the way that it is and having a, a little bit of a statement to it. But again, I feel like your fabric choice is going to be key with this one as well. I definitely want to make view B, which is the one that the model is wearing. Um, but I'm also thinking about view D as well. If I were to make this in the fall, I would definitely do view B. This pattern calls for your cotton blends, gingham, linen, and sateen type fabrics. And the garment is lined and you will be using lining fabrics or, or voile fabrics for your lining. So yeah, that is it for today's video. And those are the spring patterns that I want to sew and my mindset is that I want to sew practical garments, but also sew patterns that have a little bit of a flair to them where you can get a statement out of some of these. So I'm really happy and excited about these choices. Let me know in the comment section below if you have sewn any of these patterns before and if you did, what was your experience like? And let me know uh, your thoughts about my choices for spring in the comment section below. I hope you all have a happy and blessed sewing week. And until next time, stay creative, my friends. Bye.